it's back from Spain, 899 Ducati. Um, needs a Desmo service, so we need to check the valve clearances on the openers and the closers. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, get the seat off, get the tank off. We'll do the vertical cylinder first, it's the easiest one. And then when we want to the horizontal cylinder, we're going to have to take the fairing off on that side as well, whip the radiator and stuff out of the way, and then um, take that valve cover off and have a look at those um, clearances too. So. So the official workshop manual says that we actually have to take the rear subframe off to do this. Um, having done this before, we don't. Um, we can just sneak the valve cover out with the rear subframe actually left in place. So, remove the coil lead. Remove the breather. The hose can just pull off, but to give yourself more room, you can actually back the whole breather mechanism out of the way. much more space and then we just need to release the bolts actually holding the valve cover down. I suspect down. the reason that uh, Ducati says you should take the rear subframe off is because this bolt is a real pain to get to but with a pair of mole grips and the bolt adapt in the correct hex fitting you can just unwind it quite easily without requiring actually getting a ratchet on it so that does save you quite a lot of effort of taking that rear subframe out of the way. And that does have clearance to come out completely. Now to give us as much room as possible, just keep this wire tucked out of the way. You can use this seat stud just to loop it over there to keep it out of the way. And then we just lift the valve cover up, break the seal. get it free and you'll find that the seal either stays attached or comes with the valve cover if it's still attached you can just pull it free and there's your seal now on first inspections you can see there's no visible damage and um, I have looked in some of these and seen the followers Sorry, the cams and the actual openers and closers have been fairly damaged, whereas on these, they actually look in pretty good condition. So I'm just going to get the factory manual, get the specifications and my feeler gauges, and make sure that the um, clearances are correct. Okay, so I've now got the valve cover off, and I've got the workshop manual that tells me the valve clearances that I should be expecting. Um, I'm going to start with the opening rockers first. So the opening are the small cams, the closers are the larger cams. And I'm going to start with the exhaust because they're actually pointing up in a convenient direction for me to check the clearances. So if I start um, with these, you can see this just takes a 0.18mm. The spec is actually 0.1 uh, plus or minus 0.25, so that's in spec, that's okay. Um, the other side, however... Um, I can barely even get a 0.05 millimeter feeler gauge in there. There's no way that's going through. So I've got too little clearance on this one, which means that once I've finished doing, I'm gonna to have to take the, um, the two camshafts out and change the buckets on top of the valves to give me the appropriate clearance for that, um, that cam. So now I'm just gonna rotate the engine slightly so we can check the opening clearances on the intake. Now Ducati have a special tool for doing this. Equally you can just rotate the back wheel of the bike as long as you're in gear. And the intake side should be again 0.1 plus or minus 0.25. So we'll start with 0.1. 0.8 just goes in there so we're in spec on all of these, except for the exhaust opener valve on this side where the clearance is too little. And we'll have to take the camera out to adjust that. So now we'll just go through the process of doing the closing valves. 
the closing valves have different tolerances. We're looking for a 0.08 clearance on both the intake and the exhaust. Um, and for that, we need to measure the clearance of, of these cams. So we first need to rotate the engine again so that we have clearance between this and the closing arm and then measure the clearance in here, which at the moment there shouldn't be any because that's where the pressure is. So checking the closing valves on the intake, we should be at 0.08. On the side closest to me, we are just under a 0.23, but the, the inspection is 0.08 plus or minus 0.25. So we're actually fine there. Um, and on the far side one, our clearance is less than that, so they are going to be some of the rounds of 0.13. Yeah, so that's a 0.13 on that side. So both those will inspect, that's fine. Again, rotate the engine round so we can check the exhaust side closing valves. So you need the valves at rest position. Okay, 0.1. So we'll definitely inspect across all of the closing valves. And we're in spec on three of the intake valves, sorry, three of the opening valves. Only this exhaust valve here is out of spec. So what we'll do now, rotate the engine so that we are in the position where the two camshafts are lined up um, so that it's safe to remove the camshafts, take the camshaft out and, um, and look at the size of the bucket. Okay, so now we need to take the two camshafts out and look at the cap size on top of that valve so we can get a different bucket size to I keep interchanging away cap and bucket I mean bucket to get a different bucket to change the valve clearance you'll notice I've got the both cams to the resting position here there is a special Ducati tool again where you can bolt the camshafts together Um, yeah. So, let's get some cloth and we can wiggle these out. And then this camshaft will just ease out of where it is. Perfect. And then if you look closely, underneath the openers, there's these little buckets. So on this side, I take that bucket off and be very careful not to drop it into the engine. It says on here it's a 2.90. And there wasn't enough clearance here, so we need to try a slightly smaller bucket. So I'm going to go for a 2.85. I swapped out the bucket on this valve. Just going to tighten down these uh, camshaft caps. Work sequentially inside to outside. Back with a feeler gauge. Let's just see if we can get that one in spec now. Not point not four. You really do have absolutely no clearance there. 
So that I'm going to have to order a new um, bucket from Ducati, which no doubt will be an absolute bargain. Um, yeah, so updates to follow. Yeah, you don't make this one very easy. Um, to make it easier, you can just pry the radiator out of the way a bit and then get in. Um, but to make everything much simpler, I'm just going to whip off the hoses from the radiator, drain the coolant out, take the radiator assembly off, and um, yeah, life will be much simpler. The radiator is off and lined there. And now we have to repeat the process that we did on the other valve cover. Remove this one, there's a bit more gubbins attached to this one. And then we can check the valve clearances here just as we do the other side. So first things first, we'll remove the coil. I say we will. Proving a little bit difficult that. There you go, she's away. So we'll move this to the other side. So we get off the while my big ends. Okay. So we'll just remove this plastic brace, holds the load of the wires, keeps things neat. But it's in my way. And we just pry this off. And let's hang it out of the way. Over here somewhere. Cool. You see this side is a little bit different to the other side in that we've actually got these special bolt attachments so that we can bolt our accessories, the radiator bolts on here and that wire clip we just took off bolts on there. So it is slightly different. Um, <coughs> essentially the same process though. Probably the only time I actually use a 9mm socket is these special bolts on here. Just back them all off. Okay. Always a messy job this front cylinder. There's no real way to stop this happening. There is just oil that sits in the top end of the cylinder. And oil is good, right? But it's a shame that it gets all over my floor. There we go. Okay. So now we have basically the same process as in the other side. So, same process on this side. Um, need to get my feeler gauges again. We're going to check the uh, the intake opening valves first. So they should be 0.15, and these really are tricky to get. At. You just sort of have to fiddle your way in. This side, no clearance at all. Not good. I'm just going to carry on and do the rest on this side. 